Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing what big surprise is coming to you next, what unexpected surprise. So we have group number one, two, three and four. So please choose your group now. I'm also going to be putting the crystals on now. Okay, so these are the groups. We have group number one with the Rhodonite Tower, group two with the Pink Opal Tower, group three with the Small Caribbean Calcite Tower and group number four with the Caribbean Calcite Heart. So please choose your group now and let's get started with your reading. All these crystals are available on my store as well. If you want to check out my shop, all the information is down below for the website in the description box. So if you'd like any extra time, please pause the video. All the timestamps as usual will be in the comment section and in the description box down below. So let's get started with group number one. Hello group number one, welcome back to my channel. So let's have a look at your reading. So you guys chose this gorgeous rhodochrosite uh, tower. These are very, very popular with the heart chakra. They're really good at grounding you in love as well. So really, really love that. So that's amazing. So you're gonna plop her right there. So let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's going on for you. And let's see what you can expect in the next few months. We have unity, oh beautiful, two of wands, I love that. We have the zebra card. We have the first house of the body. We have the father, this is in the reverse, okay. And then let's get you a fairy card. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Magic of nature. And then underneath we have higher consciousness. Beautiful. Okay, so this is all about you guys tuning into your third eye. Okay, so I feel like the next surprise you're going to get is some really strong download about your surprise. So I feel like the next big thing that's coming towards you, I feel like you're going to feel it before it comes to you. I feel like it's going to really kind of trigger a really big synchronicity for you. And it's also going to change your life, I feel. So I feel like the way it's changing your life, it's going to change your personality. I feel like you guys are really, not this is like change your entire personality, but you guys are really going to be tuned into your personality. I feel like you guys are really focusing on your spirituality and your third eye and really coming into union with somebody or something. And I feel like this two of wands is all about the unity of others and also of communicating abroad. So I do feel like you could be communicating with somebody abroad and that could be like the connection, the new exciting thing that's happening for you guys. I do also, also feel like you are burning bridges with somebody in the sense that you are kind of exiting the premises and leaving an old partnership behind that no longer served you, whether that be friendship, family member, anything like that. And I do feel like you're coming out of that. I do feel like you have worked on your relationship with your father as well, and you're now releasing all of those burdens around that. With the zebra energy, I feel like you're kind of in two minds at the moment and you're kind of deciding where you want to go in terms of your next step. And I do feel like it's all about what you want to do, what steps you want to make and how you want to go about it. So in a sense, it's like you got to figure out what's the best decision for you and how it's going to affect you because it's all about your life and how it wants to come about in your realm. And with the first house of the body, this is about your personality. This is how people see you. It's about your approach in life. So I do feel like you are approaching life on a much more gentler level now. I feel like you're not taking things too seriously. And I feel like you're going to see the wood for the trees. Like I do feel like there's a situation you're starting to see the realism about. You're starting to see what's real about this situation and how to really see things in the moment. And I do feel like this two of wands is really good. I feel like you're matching up your passion with something you're really, really passionate about and you're going towards it. You could be doing something out in nature, say like a job or a hobby or something like that. But it could mean that you're also working out in nature as well, or you're just walking out in nature more. And it's kind of clearing a lot of the cobwebs around your old self and kind of like the restrictions that you put on yourself. But I do feel like you're seeing things much more clearer, I think, because your third eye is really increasing. You're definitely seeing yourself in a much clearer light and you're seeing things as they are. And I do feel like this is going to help you to attract some really good relationships in your life that really suit you and that really serve your energy. So I'm going to pull one more... Um, one more card for you and then we're going to pull some astrology dice and things like that let's get you one more fairy card beautiful i feel like your finances are, your finances are going to get so much better i feel like you're really kind of upping your game in terms of your spiritual awakening so i feel like you guys are really tuning into your emotions and realizing is there any blockages or anything like that but I do feel like your money situation is really going to improve and then in turn it's going to have this ripple effect and it's going to make you feel really good about your life and it's going to help you to realize what it is that you need out of life and things like that 
beautiful. So I do feel like as well, number 25 is gonna be like a really big set of Christy because we have the number 25 on this card as well. So let's have a look at some tarot and let's get you some astrology dice. Let's get a few cards from here. Got a really itchy nose. <laughs> Okay, underneath the deck we have the Four of Cups Awareness. This is about you kind of letting yourself be free, letting yourself be open and not holding back on any opportunities that come towards you. Okay, so it's interesting how we have nature and now we have nurture. So there's definitely something about like a softer energy coming in towards you, something that just really, really serves you. So we have the Ten of Cups and the Six of Cups. So we have joyfulness and memory. So I feel like you guys are really kind of nurturing yourself. And I feel like the next exciting thing coming towards you is just awareness in yourself. I feel like it's a ma massive emotional awareness. And I feel like you're really putting in the effort to nurture yourself and allow yourself to be kind to yourself and be kind to your inner child. And we have a lot of joy here. And I think you're going to manifest a lot of joy. You're going to manifest relationships that are really on your wavelength. You may have to clear away the rubble or clear away people who no longer serve you, first of all, to kind of realize what your true potential is. But I feel like you're allowing yourself to give yourself love and allowing yourself to realize what it is you do need out of life and what is important to you and you may be feeling very nostalgic you may be kind of getting dreams about other people or you may have people coming back from the past the six of cups is a really good card it's all about that past life energy and all about that childhood energy so I feel like you're going to manifest something really really beautiful in your life in terms of something you've wanted for such a long time because you're putting yourself first you're then allowing your inner child to express itself and allowing that newness to come in so let's get you some astrology dice. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Oops. Okay, so we have Capricorn, fourth house, and we also have the south node. So the fact that we have Capricorn in the fourth house is all about you possibly working from home. It could also mean that you guys are wanting to start a new work endeavor that you're finally, st oh, there's something sticky on here. Sorry guys. I think it's a bit of glue. Um, I do feel like you guys are really kind of tuning into your nurturing energy. And I feel like because you're doing this, you're allowing your inner child to say like, look, this is what we need. And you're listening to it. So I feel like a lot of you guys are going to start to work from home, which makes a lot of sense to do with what's kind of going on around the world. But also you're deciding this. This isn't something that you're being pushed into. I feel like you're wanting to do this. And in turn, it's actually helping you realize a lot about yourself. And the self node being in Capricorn, meaning your north node is in in, is in cancer this would mean that your your um outside world the, the the side that you want to bring out to this world as you come from childhood to adulthood you're very nurturing energy you're very nurturing to other people and i feel like your job is going to be to do with nurturing and helping people and it could just be your hobby or your daily life could be helping people and helping people be themselves and the fourth house is all about stability so you guys are definitely going to get a much more stability coming towards you and feeling much more stable than yourself so i do feel like there's a lot of emotional stability and also recognizing your own power and i really love that so Thank you so much for watching this reading. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, all information is down below along my crystal shop. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. So you guys chose this gorgeous pink opal crystal. I love this. Beautiful for love. Really good at just relaxation. It just feels really nice in the hands and also it's really nice for channeling so when you're kind of struggling getting some messages out for yourself or others it's really nice to just hold and kind of be in that energy it's just very calming and really good at helping your heart relax and allowing you to just be in the flow of energy so let's see what's going on for you guys so we have north node life's purpose we have virgo i analyze beautiful we have the ace of pentacles the frog. This is all about you guys' work, I feel, and your life purpose. It's just beautiful. So let's get a couple more fairy cards before we look at the other card. We have your inner child. And we also have quiet time. Beautiful. Okay. Underneath we have miracle healing. So definitely something is massively changing within you and you're starting to realise what feels good for you, what feels right for you, what is something that you need to move into. 
So we then have, last one is the empty room. So we're gonna start off with this card first. So I feel like with this card here, this is all about you discovering things that you have possibly never really thought of before. This is very much to do with your inner child. It's very much to do with what feels right for you, what feels good to you. This is all about expressing your own emotions and figuring out what is your path. And I think because you have been feeling a little bit isolated or a little bit alone, there's definitely some new people coming in towards you. You just are in a period of rest and recuperation and space. And basically within this space, your energy is starting to recuperate and re-energize and to reverse itself, essentially coming into your own inner child again. So it may feel empty, you may feel confused, but as you can see, there's these little lights so essentially in this darkness, you will find the light and this darkness isn't the normal darkness that you think it is. It's not scary. It's not terrifying. It is the abundance that's coming towards you. And it's like the opportunity. Sorry, guys, I just touched my microphone. It's the opportunities that are coming towards you, but you have to be in this empty room to get this change because basically you can't change unless... Uh, you can't expect change unless you change within yourself. So within this empty room, it's potential. It's kind of like you can fill it with whatever you want. You just have to allow yourself to have it. And also it's a timing thing. It's when it arrives in its own time. So I feel like you guys are really manifesting something good. It's just you're in a bit of a waiting period right now. It kind of reminds me of a waiting room. And sometimes waiting rooms can be very, very uncomfortable. But it's okay because you are going to manifest the thing that you want. It's just a matter of time and patience. So definitely to do with your life purpose. I feel like you're allowing yourself to come into your life purpose now more than ever. I feel like you guys are really nurturing yourself. And I feel like the job or career or hobby that you want to do is something that's just very caring or to do with nurturing and caring for others. It could be to do with health as well, like a fitness coach or something like that. But with the Ace of Pentacles, this is all about you and your life path and allowing yourself to have what you desire, okay? And I do feel like there's definitely a big offer coming towards you in terms of money. It could actually lead to a person as well coming into your life who helps you with your money. But I do feel like um, every time I get this card, I get the song Rain On Me by uh, Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande. I just feel like this is all about you allowing manifestations to come towards you and not forcing and pushing because the more you do that, the more you're overanalyzing things and allowing and not allowing things to happen. So I feel like if you just let things come to you, they will come naturally. And sometimes it's annoying, but there is this essence of quiet time that you're being in right now. So you can realize what is your life purpose? What is it that you want to do? And obviously your life purpose can change throughout your life. So don't think that it's like one thing and that's it. And you know, and put yourself down because you're not achieving it. It's like, just realize what is it that you want to do right now and realize that there's so much luck coming towards you because you're allowing yourself to be who you are. And I feel like you're allowing yourself to be open to new things and allowing your authentic self to shine through because when our inner child is <clears throat> feeling a little bit unsafe, it can be uncomfortable to be vulnerable. So I do feel like you are allowing yourself to kind of be in hermit mode right now, but there is some offers coming towards you. And the more you go inward and allow yourself to feel and see things as they are, I do feel like you're going to manifest some really good things. And I feel like it's really good to not overanalyze, but also see, is there anything you want to improve on in your life? Is there anything that you can do to kind of bring this forward? Because obviously the universe can only do so much. And with this Virgo card as well, this is also to do with health. So as I say, it could be that you're working towards your health, you're working more on your body, or you're becoming much more sensitive to your body. So it's definitely making some slight changes and allowing your inner child to protect you and help you and give you guidance. And I do feel like you're tuning into your inner child a lot more recently than, than not, because I feel like this is you connecting with who, who you are and who you are at the core as well. And I just feel like the more quiet time and meditation you can do, the better, because you're going to get a lot of signs and synchronicities from the universe. And know that in that quiet time, there's safety and there's comfortability, but you've got to kind of quiet the, the overall noise to kind of get the messages come through. So that's what I'm feeling. So let's get you some tarot and let's get you some astrology advice. Okay, so we have the 11th house, Mercury and Gemini. You guys are really speaking your truth. Uh, Gemini is actually ruling Mercury, so that is really, really good. This is all about you really allowing your ideas to flourish. And I do feel like you're going to meet with a new group very soon. You're going to meet like your soul tribe, your soul family who really suits you and really matches with your energy. Okay, let's see what else we have. Ooh, the lovers. I like that. That's really good. 
have death and we have the nine of wands. Gorgeous. Oh, I love this. So because you are finding who you are again, I mean, Gemini rules the lovers too. So this is about you matching up your masculine and your feminine energies together to create this gorgeous energy of joyfulness, beautiful. So you guys are really going to come into this amazing energy of abundance to do with your love life and your career and your friends and your friendships. I feel like you're allowing more friends to come in, but you're going for a really big rebirth because you're realizing what you need and what you don't need and what you want to part with. And I feel like there's an energy of, I'm going to make myself the best self that I can be. I'm going to manifest the best self and I'm going to be my authentic self. I'm going to let people see me as I am. And um, that may be scary or vulnerable, but actually it's amazing because that means that I can really attract some authentic friendships and connections towards me and relationships don't have to be to do with love they can be friendships a relationship is any type of relationship you know it's any type of connection that you have so I do feel like you are going to find your ultimate kindred spirit for those of you who are single I feel like you're going to find your yourself within this person which is going to be really beautiful and then, and then in turn it's going to create this gorgeous death process and you're going to be able to release everything that no longer serves you and you're allowing yourself to be free and the 11th house is always to do with friends. It's to do with, uh, it's to do with like Sag. It's that energy of kind of opening yourself up and to being free and that Aquarian energy of just allowing people to come in and accepting all types of people. So I feel like you're going to come into some sort of community or your community is going to start coming towards you and you're going to start to find people who are on your wavelength who really, really suit you. And this Gemini energy is all about opening your communication barrier. So if you felt like quite stuck, I feel like you're going to allow yourself to be free and be open and allow yourself to speak your truth and to just really let people hear your ideas. And I do feel like you're working on your throat chakra a lot and you're allowing yourself to speak your truth and just say how you feel. So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to purchase a private reading or check out my jewelry shop, all the information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Those of you who chose this gorgeous little Caribbean calcite tower. This is the mini one. I love this. So let's get started with your reading. So this is going to be your new experiences coming, unexpected blessings, all that jazz. So let's start off with the tarot. So we have the Queen of Wands, Passion, beautiful. We have the Stingray. We have Sagittarius. I'm going to look at that one in just a second. And then we're going to pull some fairy cards. This is really beautiful, guys. I love this. Okay, let me grab my fairy cards and let's pull some of these for you guys. Whoops. We have the peace of mind card. I feel like that's very much to do with that queen of wands. She's like kind of in that similar energy of like that peace and kind of seeing things from a broader perspective. And then we have breaking free. Beautiful. And then we have the queen. Oh, I love this. This is gorgeous. So let's have a look at that one first because she's sticking out like a sore thumb. And then we have self-reliance. Beautiful being that independent, gorgeous being that you are. Okay, so the queen. Obviously, this doesn't have to be to do with the feminine. It can be to do with the masculine as well. It's this strong energy of just being your most authentic self and being very powerful within that self. This is all about your passion and what you're really, really passionate about. We have passion here and we have Sagittarius as well. This is all about what you've been wanting to do, what you've been dreaming to do. So for those of you, whatever your passion is, whether that's uh, being part of a relationship, being part of a community, being part of a career that you really want to do, I do feel like you're allowing yourself to have this. And I feel like you're really going through a big transformation right now. I think you are opening up to this new part of you that's very, very scary because it's like you're it's like you're driving a car for the first time. It's like you don't really know what you're doing, but you have to be fully aware all the time and have to like kind of so it's kind of like taking a new car out for the spin, you know, like kind of just really letting yourself be yourself. But also it's scary because maybe you haven't been yourself for a long time or you haven't been able to allow yourself to be yourself. So I do feel like this part of you now is really coming out and blossoming and it's quite scary and I'm getting quite an anxious feeling in my solar plexus but I do feel like it's exciting it's amazing and you're going to allow yourself to attract some really gorgeous passionate relationships especially in love I feel like you're going to really attract some gorgeous romantic relationships who really appreciate you and see you as you are and don't just see you as this person who's going to help them or going to take from you it's like no they're going to see you as somebody who you both equally give to each other and there's no kind of alter ego or alter kind of 
personalities in there. It's just you two, you both being your most authentic self. So with the breaking free and the peace of mind, I feel like you guys are really seeing yourself as you are and you're now allowing yourself to be yourself. There's no kind of filter. Obviously, you're being extremely kind and, and empathic. I don't feel like obviously, you know, being nasty to people because that's not authentic. I feel like it's basically just being your yourself and you're doing things that you're really, really passionate about. And I feel like the next thing coming towards you is just feeling really free and open. Obviously, we're going to have a look into this in a little bit more detail in a minute with the tarot. But I do feel like there's a part of you that just feels really good. It just feels really content and very happy with where you're at. And you don't feel the need to have a man or a woman to feel complete. I feel like you just feel like you can love if you want to but if you don't want to be in a relationship that's totally fine but also you're happy with yourself i feel like you're allowing yourself to be who you are and be your authentic self and allowing yourself to just feel free and feel content without anybody in your life even if you don't have a lot of friends right now or you don't have a relationship you are feeling very content because you have found yourself and you found the part of you that has felt lost for so long and you're now allowing that part of you to just come through and shine through and feel really really good about yourself and just feel really whole and content and just feeling like you can just express yourself without having to kind of hold back or kind of almost clarify how you feel so the stingray here is actually about developing confidence sense of self or spine so i'm going to read from the book from this one because i feel like this one's quite accurate the stingray card represents a pivotal point in personal growth the moment has come when the stingray must decide between the old easy comfortable and familiar and the new challenging uncomfortable and unfamiliar pressure from family and friends makes the decision even more complicated no matter what choice is made now, it's inevitable that this dilemma will surface again and again as the force of dharma growing within the stingray is too strong to ignore. When in balance, ego wants to grow. When out of balance, blames others, quits. To bring into balance, move through the discomfort. Yeah, I feel like this is amazing for you guys. I feel like this is absolutely amazing. I feel like this is like a brand new you coming through. So I'm going to pull one more card for you guys in terms of this because I want to see what's kind of happening after you've gone through this discomfort or confusion. Just to allow yourself a bit more um, clarity. Underneath, Cobra, massive transformation. Beautiful. So we have, beautiful. Oh, I love this. I love, I knew this one was going to come out in one of these groups. I didn't know which group it would be, but I love that it's in group number three. So Eagle and Swan. So Eagle is about seeing things from a broader perspective. Like the Sagittarius energy, you're seeing things from a broader perspective now. And you can see things as they are instead of like being wrapped up in it. You're just living. You're just being who you are. You're just being in the moment and I feel like you've really worked on yourself and you've done a freaking good job like I feel like you've gone through possible health problems mental health problems friendships relationships and now you're here on the other side and you feel whole and content by yourself but to be whole and content by yourself you are now allowing yourself to come into that authenticity but it can be quite scary and confusing but when you do when you go come out of the discomfort and into liberation and power you are then finding your purpose finding where you need to stand and also manifesting a gorgeous just soulmate kindred spirit relationship where you feel like you can be your most authentic self and for those of you who aren't single who are already in a relationship I feel like you are just allowing yourself to be seen as you are there's no kind of filter there's no kind of oh I don't know if I should do this you're just being yourself and you're not scared of that kind of rejection anymore because you feel whole within yourself which is so beautiful guys and you, as I say you're breaking free you have this gorgeous peace of mind where you don't have to kind of just be anything for anyone else you're just being yourself and you're just being your whole beautiful, authentic, loving soul being, basically. So let's have a look at your tarot and your astrology dice. Yeah, perfect. You guys are gonna be dating very soon. So those of you who are single, get ready because you are, will be dating somebody very, very soon. The uh, fifth house is all about dating. It's all about creativity. It's ruled by Leo. So it's romance, love, play creativity self-expression childlike spirit so it's all about that childlike energy coming towards you and feeling really really good within yourself and feeling like you can just express yourself really nicely and the neptunian energy it just feels really good it feels so authentic and like you especially those of you who have water in your chart i feel like you're really allowing yourself to be vulnerable within that depth because a lot of a lot of those of you who who have a depth, who are a Scorpio or a water sign, we were just a very deep person. Sometimes that can be scary because other people don't accept it all the time, but that's because they haven't done the work sometimes, you know. Sometimes they haven't done the work and they can't be deep within themselves and therefore you're the one who gets rejected. So I feel like now it's time for you to be your most authentic self 
and manifest a relationship. Oh my God, so cute. The Libra energy is really gorgeous as well. This is about you finding who you are in relationships. Do I want all of these? Do I want all of these? Yeah, do I? Yeah, they're saying, yeah, let's take them. Okay, so underneath it all, I feel like you are worried about rejection or confusion around being in a relationship or being in, when I say relationship guys, I mean friendship as well. So I mean any sort of close connection you're gonna have. You gotta realize that these betrayals or anything that's happened in your life to do with your past relationships has been for a reason. It's to protect you and to make you strong and to help you realize that you don't need anyone to feel comfortable, comfortable to feel confident or safe. You have yourself and that is enough, okay? So the lovers and judgment is showing me you're going to manifest a long-term loving commitment with somebody, kindred spirit, somebody who is not just a lesson, but somebody you can really grow with and somebody who you can be yourself with and no kind of filters or anything like that. Yeah, you may meet this person through a new experience in your career or you may meet them through career in some way. They could help you within your career or something like that but they see you as somebody who's very independent and that's gonna attract somebody in because you don't need anyone. But also if you do want somebody, that is good too. You know, you're allowed to want somebody, that's completely natural, but you're now, I love this. It's kind of like you're waving goodbye to the old self and you're like, bye bye. You know, like, thank you for being there, but I don't need you anymore. And now you're really getting the recognition that you deserve from people. And also you could be somebody who's in the limelight, who's on social media and you're getting the recognition by people. And therefore, when you get that recognition, more people see you and therefore somebody comes in. So it could be through social media as well that you meet this person because people are seeing you and they want to come together with you. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like a private reading or you wanna check out my crystal shop, all the information is in the description box down below. Thank you so much for being here. I see you guys going for a massive change. So look forward to it. It looks really exciting. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading, okay? So we have this gorgeous little Caribbean calcite heart. I have these on my crystal shop. I freaking love Caribbean calcite. It's so, so pretty, it's so relaxing. And the fact that you guys chose the heart shows me you guys are really working on your heart chakra at the moment and you're working on your connection and unconditional love for others and yourself and just really letting yourself be who you are, which is beautiful. First card out we have is Temperance, Harmony. So it's all about balance and patience. Third house of Messages. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. We have the Peacock. And then I'm going to pull some fairy cards and then I'm going to look at the other card that's just come out. Let's get you a couple of fairy cards. Dreams coming true. Ooh, I love that. And then we also have Vacation. Underneath we have inner power, which is absolutely beautiful. So I feel like for you guys, I'm hearing you're feeling much more settled within yourself or you're starting to feel much more settled and less confused and less kind of conflict going on. So the main energy you're working with is the mountain. I'm getting this massive energy of like, kind of releasing and coming away from the norm. So I feel like because we have vacation and we have temperance, this is definitely about you seeing things from a broader perspective and coming out of your environment. So you may kind of be doing things differently recently. You may be working from home or you may be kind of going out to different places that you've never been before, maybe walking in the park more or walking places that you've never been before because we have kind of more, possibly more time to do so. I do feel like you have discovered a new part of yourself and you're really exploring that. And this vacation is obviously maybe to do the vacation. Obviously we can't travel too far at the moment, but obviously depending on when you're watching this uh, reading. But the mountain is all about, I feel, seeing things from a broader perspective, but also being safe within your home. I feel like it's all about your home and your body is your home as well. So I feel like you're learning to figure out what feels good for you, what feels comfortable. And also you may be just really connected to mountains. You may be somebody who loves mountain climbing, hiking. You might just be very fascinated with mountains or nature. I feel like some of you guys are archeologists. I'm also here in the Arctic. So some of you guys might be really connected to the Arctic or want to do like an Arctic kind of exploration or something like that in the future, I feel. And I'm picking up on very like strong, like Switzerland and Canadian vibes from this as well. So I feel like it's really, hibernating as well and just being in your own space but also if you guys feel like you need a break somewhere i feel like you're going to allow yourself to have that break so that's really beautiful 
So I do feel like you're embracing your true self. I feel like you're allowing yourself and people to see you. And I do feel like you're putting out your boundaries really nicely. There's definitely an energy of harmony in your in your body, in your home. I feel like you're clearing away anything that no longer serves you, possibly uh, taking things to like a charity shop, aka like a thrift store for those of you who aren't in England, <laughs> a thrift shop. Um, and I do feel like you are getting quite a lot of messages downloaded to you about things that you need to change. So listen into your intuition, listen to your guides and the messages that you get and any signs and synchronicities that you get is definitely guiding you towards where you need to go. I do feel like the number 12 is very significant, so look out for that number as well. So the fact we have dreams coming true is all about this something changing for you. It could be something that you've waited for for a very long time or it's subtly starting to come in and you're getting those messages. I do feel like it could be a message coming from somebody as well. It could be something to do with a, a, a past partner or it could be something to do with your dreams. It's like because you're balancing yourself out, people are getting more drawn to you because they're wanting that energy. So let's just clarify this third house of messages. Let's see. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> underneath sun spirit you're definitely kind of ramping up your personality in the terms of like you're allowing people to to see all parts of you all sides of you okay so you have roots and abundance wow so we have harmony and abundance that's like so synchronistic i love that so it's like so much clarity you're getting you're getting fulfillment and the fourth house is all about your stability and finding your ground and finding your root as in your house you know so you could get a message from somebody who used to live around where you live or you could be getting a message about some abundance that is coming in. So it's kind of like a job offer or something that just really, really suits you. We have the number seven and 28 here as well. And it's funny how we have 27 and then 28, the third and the fourth, the fourth house. So communicating within your home, it could be that you get some text messages while you're in your house and kind of like it, it's very exciting. It's exciting news that you've been wanting for a while. It does feel like it could be a job offer as well, but I do see that it's, I'm hearing, don't be afraid of it, don't be scared. I'm hearing that some people, for those of you who are watching this reading, you might be scared of like peacocks because we had the peacock spirit and some people are scared of them because they're so big when they open their feathers up. Don't be scared of that big energy. Don't be scared of that wide open energy that's coming towards you. It feels really, really good. And it feels like this is something you've been wanting for a very long time. So let's get some tarot and some astrology dice. Okay, wow. Some of you guys are really manifesting a relationship that is something you've been wanting for a very, very long time. You're probably going to manifest a Sagittarius in love in your relationships. Could be somebody you used to know. I'm hearing that song, Now You're Just Somebody That I Used To Know. <laughs> So I feel like you're now releasing anyone who don't doesn't serve you, doesn't doesn't want to be in your energy. Because a lot of the times is people are scared of breaking off relationships and therefore they lash out or they get angry. And it's kind of like the energy of feeling scared, but also you are pulling them up on this. So I feel like you're then releasing and not allowing this to hurt you or offend you. You're just moving away from it and focusing on your purpose and yourself. And I do feel like those of you who are wanting a career possibly to do with relationships like counselling or a relationship counsellor or something to do with that, I do feel like that's coming towards you. You could be somebody who is like the wise woman sort of thing that people come to and that could be your job, that could be your career. And you are definitely get the recognition that you deserve. People are coming to you because they want your services, they want what you have to give. So I do feel like you're going to get a lot of choices in love. I do feel like it doesn't have to be choices in lots of people. It feels like a certain way you're going to go. So whether you're going to move to a certain house, you're trying to pick which house you're going to go to, possibly a country you're going to move to, possibly um, somebody you may feel like you want to contact somebody, or it may be that you're like going towards different jobs, you're applying for different jobs and you don't know which one you want. So I do feel like the universe is going to help you decide. I do feel like you've got a lot of a lot of drive to go forward and you need to kind of um, channel this in a different way because maybe it comes through as quite intense and sometimes it can come out as anger. So if you do feel angry all of a sudden, kind of channel that into running or dancing or just talking to somebody because I feel like part of you really wants to move forward and expand, but we can't really expand at the moment with all these restrictions and things, obviously depending on when you're watching this. But if you do feel like restricted in your life right now, just know that you are gonna get choices and there is new things coming towards you, especially with this page of wands. This is like a new start, a new passion project, a new um, kind of job 
opportunity that sort of thing it just feels like you're being recognized for what you have and I feel like especially in your career and your love life I feel like you're already expanding and things are starting to reveal themselves and I do feel like within the next few months or so possibly two to three months you're going to start to see this newness coming in and I feel like more people are going to start recognizing you be very passionate about you they want to work with you they want to be in your life and I do feel like for some of you who want to manifest a relationship as, as in like a romantic partnership I do see that coming towards you I'm also seeing some young people around you so like you're the older one there's younger people around you so you may work with children or youth or something like that it feels like that it does feel like you are kind of allowing yourself to to work on something and push yourself I do feel like some of you are feeling really anxious about starting a career that you've never done before just this is a sign that you can do this and allow yourself to do it and don't worry about rejection or not working out anything like that just friggin do it because at the end of the day if you don't do it you're never going to get anywhere anyway if you don't even start so allow yourself to start and move and also some of you guys if you feel like you don't want to do anything or you've done everything you can to manifest and go forward then just be patient guys and there may be a bit of frustration around it but just know that if you can come into balance with yourself and just distract yourself or do something productive that makes you feel like you're doing something this is going to help you release this energy so thank you so much for watching guys um, I also see you guys uh, purchasing new crystals and crystal balls or tarot or being in that kind of spiritual energy maybe purchasing some more incense something like that so thank you so much for being here guys I am getting one more message is to clear yourself uh, cleanse your energy say something like I I release any energy that's no longer mine now thank you deep breath in deep breath out <sighs> You can also uh, sage yourself, incense yourself, smudge your aura, that sort of thing, go out in nature, all those things, because you're coming into a new energy and that can that can bring in new energies for yourself that maybe aren't wanted. So bring up your boundaries, put your boundaries and know that all this growth and all this uh, learning and all this kind of movement and things that you've been going through and all these changes, they're all worth it and they're all coming into, you're, you're coming into an energy of growth and empowerment. So, and you have more choice than what you realize as well. There is choices coming towards you if you can't really see any right now, but keep going guys. Don't give up and know that this will pay off, okay? So thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like to purchase a private reading or you wanna look at my crystal shop, all the information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Also, before I go, look out for cats and hawks or crows. They're really good synchronicities and good omens for you. So thank you so much and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.